Well, a tough story tonight. A young woman named Jory Jones, her smile lit up an ice rink. And we hear that from everybody we talked to about this 19-year-old who was killed in a car crash on Sunday. And Jory was just two weeks away from starting her sophomore year at Gustavus Adolphus College. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us now. Rose, this is a devastating loss to Minnesota's hockey community. It's just terrible when you think about how it went. Really down. tough. Really tough loss for all of them. And you hear that from everyone you talk to. Her high school coach tells me his heart is broken and her teammates say it doesn't feel real that they'll be starting school without her. They're asking people to leave hockey sticks out to honor Jory. On Molly McHugh's front porch, her hockey stick holds a special place of honor to honor someone very special. So um, Jory, um, I think the coaches would tell you she's quiet, but um, around us, she's not at all. Like, she's very bubbly. On Sunday, 19 year old Jory Jones was showing off that infectious personality during an annual team bonding activity with her teammates at Gustavus Adolphus College. They were on their way back from South Dakota when they were in a crash that killed Jory and left three of her teammates injured. Molly, a team captain, was several cars behind them and rushed to the hospital to see her friends. It never crossed any of our minds that she wasn't going to be okay. Ever. That feeling of utter disbelief shared in the hockey community across the state. Before Jory was a gusty, she spent four years in this rink as a Roseville Raider. Just the sweetest kid you could ever have, a coach's dream. Um, she did everything the right way. Uh, came to the rink with a smile on her face every day. You'd never know it from this goalie who went on to win a D3 national championship, but her high school coach Craig Rosenthal says Jory was having a hard time getting recruited until the last section game of her senior year. Well, the coach from Gus Davis came down and he said, I want your goalie. And I said, finally, <laughs> um, she's, she's not only a wonderful goalie, but you're going to be getting the best kid in the world. Another proud coaching moment came shortly after that, when Jory invited him to National Signing Day. She was smiling ear to ear, and I was just so proud to uh, watch her sit down and sign that paper. A fierce competitor and an even better person. Losing Jory was like losing, was like losing a sister. It was way more than just a teammate. Coach Rosenthal says Jory leaves behind a legacy of wanting to make everyone around her happy, a gift he says that we can all learn from. We have a link to the GoFundMe for the family on our website, and it's just about to hit $100,000. Mm. It's just tragic. Yeah, such a tight-knit group of um, girls, and it's going to be a very tough time for that school. Like sisters, that's how they describe themselves. They were always together, whether they were on the rink or off it. Mm. All right, thanks, Rose.